Hey everyone, it's time for that clickety clack clack clack. There we go. Reading of the day. Yay. How are you all doing? I hope you're doing well. Kitten's about to join me. Yes, she is. She says hi. Did the jerky called her annoying in the dog? She missed you. Anyway, because I'm a petty bitch. <laughs> anyway, hope you all are doing well. Once again, for anybody who's new, this is an all signs reading, so if it resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it, because it's just a card game. It doesn't work if you don't believe in it. Just right on your nose. Just doink. There you go. But in all reality, it, it, like if it does resonate, it's all good. If you want a personal reading after this, my email, Facebook, and Instagram, all down below in the description box, of course first readings on the house and everything else comes with a price of course and I also take dips and donations if you feel like it no biggie really you know anyway let's see what we're reading for today an idiot someone who really can't deal with people <laughs> or they don't know how to approach people or they just have issues with people whatsoever or whatever it is they're trying to accomplish it came out horribly horribly miscalculated and wrong they might not be very crafty at what they do may not be very skilled that's what we're looking at today so let's see what's up with this genuine querent right here it's too confusing to say person all the time because then i end up talking about other people too so querent will stick for now ah okay so first card is Strength Reverse. Then we have Six of Cups. Queen of Swords and the thoughts and feelings and the root of that is the Nine of Pentacles. Then we got the Hierophant right here. Someone's praying to the Jesus or whoever it is they believe, honestly. Maybe somebody looking for guidance since they're praying up to the moon. But the moon's only crescent, so there's not much seen. Mind you, he's the only person in this um, tarot deck with that color face where both sides are dark. One's not as dark as the other, but that's just like what's under that mask that makes it so dark, you know? We got the house. We got the lovers. Scooch this some so we have some room for the vibration. Nine of Cups reverse. Someone made a wish. Someone got some wish fulfillment. Is this zoomed in? A little bit. Not very much. But yeah. Someone had a wish come true. And now they're kind of regretting that wish. Because it came with a lot of baggage. Not humorous. Not hubris. Because hubris is like um, where you wish for something. But you don't think of the side effects. <sighs> Sorry. I took a drink of my soda. Check it out, right? Um, if you've ever seen Are You Afraid of the Dark, there's an episode where these boys go to prank this old woman who lives in the house all by herself. Most likely a witch, you know, because she definitely gave me the witch vibe. Like, oh, this is definitely a fucking witch. And I didn't, didn't even really, re I barely remembered this episode, but I remembered it. And she gave them a claw. I think it was a rooster claw made out of wood or whatever as a gift for them visiting her since they were her only visitors and they happened to notice she hadn't cleaned up the vase for anyone no wanting to know that's in order for her to keep having the energy to want that revenge right because this claw she gave them granted them three wishes apiece i think and the wishes had great hubris in it the hubris like one was uh i wish we could quit trick-or-treating and go home already well, they got their wish. They ended up getting mugged, losing all their candy, and having to run all the way to fuck home. That was the wish, and it came with hubris. You didn't say how you wanted to go home. You didn't say you wanted to keep your candy. You didn't say this. You didn't say that. That is different from baggage. This is somebody wishing for something based on the cover of the book rather than the um, actual contents. It's like thinking that like Twilight's going to be this great novel, and then you find out it's not... And the apple still doesn't make any sense when you read the books, either. This is somebody who probably wished for something, or maybe even a relationship, 
because it always seems to come to that. But they didn't realize the person they were bringing home. Like this person wants, this queer aunt wants their individuality and they're being driven nuts because they can't have it. And they want to cut out this whole almost commitment thing, but I don't think it's commitment because there's nobody else but the Hierophant. And this Hierophant is praying. This Hierophant, it has its two claws up being like, there are things that you still don't know about. Still trying to look inside to figure out almost the right moral thing to do. And this person's nuts, so it's just like, I'm not doing the moral thing, fuck that, you know? But it involves like a couple. Like all of these cards right here in Rider Waite, they all represent two people being together in one way. Religious, in the performance and the actions and reactions they have to each other, and with the actual devotion of love and loyalty. All three right here, and this person's whacked out. But they got what they wished for. So, we're going to see what happens with this person, right? Right. I actually kind of... Damn you, Facebook. With your I need to change the notifications on my phone. Because it's all creepy and spacey and shit. But it's soothing, so it's not that bad. It just still throws me off because I don't know all the sounds yet. And I haven't assigned sounds to each and everything yet, either. So let's see. Strength card. Reverse. I want to say lust and temptations. I don't know why. Just lust and temptations. Just because this card's here. Just because that's the vibration this person's in. It's like they know... You know, it's like they're currently aware. And they're almost tempted by the past, but I don't know if that's right. They're also restricting themselves as well. Like, the thing's gonna chomp his head, sure. If it doesn't chomp his head, it's gonna pull him from under his foot from underneath of him. And then chomp his head somehow. It's it, like life finds a way, you know? It's like the shadow side is winning when it comes to past events. Um,. This querent or the person that they are dealing with has a person. This querent might have a person who is um, worried about somebody, but now they're getting over it. It's just like, yeah, that person is just gonna live outside forever. Yeah, you know, they're just gonna be, um, they're just gonna be a hobo the rest of their life. So I might as well just like, you know, just let them go and do their own thing. You know. Ooh, that's kind of nice. Hmm. This one's kind of confusing, because, like... I almost want to say, like, this empress and this person who's, like, on the inside, not worried, is the person on the ground. But I'm not entirely sure. Or maybe, like, whoever... This is actually really confusing. Give me like a second, because I actually need to look at this. Hmm. Let me do the next one, the Six of Cups, because I'm not sure if I'm reading what I think I'm reading yet. Because, like, that last card is just... it. That's what's throwing me off right here. Secrets being revealed. After wasting a bunch of time. Okay, alright. This querent right here... They're restricting themselves from going after somebody who they thought they bested. Or, that's kind of loud. Or, this querent thinks that this person who wait, who got tired of waiting on them and bossed up, because that's the Empress, like they got comfortable where they were. They started making themselves a little bit better off. They were just like, you know, oh, you know what? I'm going to be happy. Whatever. Like, they feel like they had triumphed over them, and now it's like they want to try to, like, beat them, but they are already beaten. 
like they're on the ground like they're trying to restrict themselves from shit Now it, I only think this because down below with the past, Six of Cups, right? Some secrets came out that someone was wasting time, like playing a martyr, and decided that they were not going to give their cup in a very harsh manner. And I feel like it's this queerit who's on their hands and knees because they feel like they've been bested by this person who no longer waits for them. And now they're trying to be the person who gets up after the battle and be like, no, I'm going to be better than you. Like, usually I would read it the other way, but I don't feel like it's like that. I feel like it's this person's reading and they're focused on what this other person did. But it's almost like it's based on the fact that, um... They felt like they were wasting time... With this Five of Pentacle Empress person. And that's why they decided to harshly take away their cup. Okay, so it's like a secret came out. And that made the person feel like, you know, this isn't for me. I'm just wasting time on this person. Queen of Swords, right? She is reversed. She could be a Libra. Also, Gemini and Aquarius, right? Also, Pisces and Cancer is here as well. Aries, Taurus. A little bit of Earth, but not much. All right, this Queen of Swords. Oh, definitely could be a Libra. I think she thinks she's doing the right thing because she's all heartbroken and shit. And that just it, it, that was just leading to some dangerous risk taking, running right into the storm. This person is completely illogical, and I don't know. Like they're going into disaster. All because they're heartbroken and they think it's the right thing to do. It's the just thing to do. But they're reversed, so it's like they're not like they're not looking at everything correctly. Like looking over it correctly would be like you know, not going to danger because you're cool. But this person feels like that that's not the right thing to do. Like, how strange. Like, this person's all ass backwards. That's all I'm saying. Like, they're very awkward. Like, it's like they're looking at everything. Like, I... Like, it, it like... Okay, the way I'm looking at just these right here, that's what throw, that's what's throwing me off, because it's like, it's a switched position. Like... It's like they don't want to admit somebody's right, because they're too busy trying to figure out how they're going to get back to Adam once they get back off of their knees. And it's like, dude, like, it's like they can't stand to lose. But it's like they're not really logical in this at all. It doesn't make any sense. It's like their pride or something. Or like someone like slighted them, gave them like one too many displeasures. Three displeases later, all of a sudden they're going straight to disaster. All because they can't deal with like feeling like whatever wall or shield to their heart was penetrated in the worst way possible which is like is that really wise let's look at this individuality right here or someone wanting to get that money to be like successful fashionable nine of pentacles right here see there's a little bit of earth there is a marriage here well, that's just, okay, happy times between the two, like, awesome times. Um, total control in this, though. Having the dominance? What? <laughs> okay, like, someone won the control to be, like, the one who... This is the one who would slap everyone in their dick and say, I'm the man of the house. 
in a marriage. Like, this is what this person wanted. But it's like individuality. It's like, oh, no, that, nah, that, nah, 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 nah. Whatever. It's like they got married to somebody. Based on money. Based on the idea that they were going to look good with the Nine of Pentacles right here. Because the Nine of Pentacles in this deck, it's like, look at how flashy and showy. Like, this is, it's like the person cut their arm off just so the jacket would fit them better. Because it doesn't have sleeves. Because sleeves are out of fashion this season. This is what this person did. Like, sacrificing ridiculous shit just to look like, you know, they're a fucking superstar or celebrity or some shit. And it's like they got in a marriage thinking that they were going to have some control here. But then they slowly watched her, uh, they slowly watched her money dwindle and realized that this was a shitty start. I'm gonna wait till the end to read that hubris card, cause like, I'm kinda like, yeah, okay dude, whatever. This is a wish? Like, I would love to, like, I would love to know what this, what, like, what were you thinking? <laughs> what is this? Like, for real, Queerant? Like, I'm sorry to be harsh, but it's like... It's almost like you're confused about how somebody Honestly, I think you broke your own heart and then blamed it on somebody else. Like that's kind of what I'm feeling right now. It's like you did something to yourself Especially with this baggage right here. And it's like you're blaming it on somebody completely outside your realm of, like, understanding. Like, I'm not sure if you thought... I'm not sure if this person thinks that, like, people are mind readers? But that's... I don't know. I'm just getting this feeling, especially here, because it's almost like, I know I'm going to get back. I'm going to one-up you or something, because that's, like, the energy. That's what this person does. They get back up and, like... They managed to do better, and it's like, no, this is like still, I don't know. Um, next one's the Hierophant, and I already got the three. Ooh. Um, someone is praying, reaching out to the ether, trying to figure out how I can beat this bitch. You know, like, because they get all dramatic and such. It's like, please, Lord, have mercy on my pitiful soul. I just want to just I, I i just want to be smug for two seconds that's it i just want to be smug i want to be the ruler i want to be in control i want to have my money back i want my queen i want all of that i want to look nice and it's like their toys hanging out of their pocket and and it's just like for real it's almost childish begging hmm they don't want to be a fool anymore. They're just not sure how to go about it. It's like they're not cutting themselves any slack, but they do want to develop the courage to deal with the devil. There is a um, strengths card once again, because Leo could be involved. Here we also have the devil. Capricorn could be in this card too. This is the only card I've ever seen that has like the devil somewhere else that would represent Capricorn. In the uh, Major Arcana. I have to say, I am impressed by that, because it's like, oh. There's Cappy. Mm. It's like they're not concentrating. It's like they're praying, but it's like the activity they're taking is not. Like, there's no... Like... Okay, like... There's only... Where? He's the only one. He's the only one here. There is no other action being taken other than this marriage card here, but that's not even like... Well, no. Here's the uh, Ace of Wands, and then that's still not doing anything. Like, this person isn't really taking any action to one-up the person who one up them, I reckon. Because it's just like, they're just... Like, they're sitting down, they're standing up, they're riding off somewhere, they're dancing in the park, now they're sitting in front of a tree, they're making a wish on a genie, they're staring at somebody's face, they're sucking face on another person, like, there's a lot of... 
like there's only one card really showing any no there are two cards the ace of pentacle or no not ace the two of pentacles and the knight of wands they're both actually doing something but it's not anything that's like helpful or productive or will get them going on the path they need to go on it's like they're stuck on illogical queen of swords right here four of wands could be an open door could be a marriage between two people and this is the four of wands down here too so this is probably the same place so they got like so yeah what happened <laughs> like i'm being nosy today i want to know <laughs> <clears throat> um, Queen of Wands reverse shadow side. <clears throat> Her back is turned and she is a bit nettled. Excuse me. It was a drinky poop. Uh, she is a bit nettled. Every time she comes, every time this querent comes around this person, I feel like they're just like, why do you stink so much? Get the fuck away from me. Like, you bother me. I need to get a massage. Yes, Raul will be here, and I need you out of the house for three hours. Because it's a private practice, you dummy. You know, like, one of those things where it's like, she's very snobby and rude and, and like, just dismisses you before you even get a chance to get involved. I feel like that's the per- like, she's in red too, so I feel like that's the person this queer it might have gotten with. Yeah, yeah. Might be the religious head of the household, the Hierophant, once again. Yeah. Ooh. I put that on four for a reason. Um. Apparently no resurrection when it comes to somebody's fundage because the boat's gone. <laughs> oh lord. Ah, uh, they missed the boat. Let's see. Okay, so like... She's turned her back to the relationship and Fannie Mae right here. I need to figure out Esther. The Queen of Wands is now Esther. Esther has her back turned, right? And Fannie Mae's over here demanding answers from the religious guy about why this relationship just went down the tubes or why nothing started or any of this shit, right? Like, Esther's being a bitch right now, and Fannie Mae is just angrily going to the pastor or whatever, being like, you told me this marriage would work! Paul and I are getting a divorce now! What are we supposed to do? Like, I'm not sharing custody of my cat with him. I don't care if he got it for my birthday. Like, you know, or I don't know. He's just go like, they're both really pissed at each other. This one's a little bit more financially savvy than this one. This one seems like she drains the money a lot. It could be Leo who keeps showing up here. I don't know. But it's like, they're so dismissive. And it's like this bit, like Fannie Mae, this bitch keeps bringing up, you know, the commitment, um, the religious factors, everything that comes behind it. This is tradition, value, community, family, friends, you know, bringing all this shit up to her. And like, Esther's just like, nah. You know that Mario Lopez dude who does knowledge? I'm saying nah, Lidge. Because nah, man, I already got enough nah, Lidge, not to deal with you, you know? Like, just going off of that shit. Being annoying. <laughs> On purpose, just to push this person away. But it's like, Fannie Mae always comes back. Because she doesn't have any love anywhere else, I feel like. Mind you, and our son did show up at first, so I don't know. Mm. This Leo might be standing up to a Capricorn. And that's why they're diminishing shit. Because I think this uh, Queen of Pentacles right here might know that the love is not there. Like, she might even be hiding the fact she doesn't love. And this person could be turning away from the whole connection thing. Right? Huh. strange it's like they're jealous like okay i totally feel like this person is in a relationship with the other person the one over here who they feel best to them and they want to get a one up on them for some reason i feel like these two people are in a relationship right now or they're still together somehow but it's like 
The communication's fucky. It's like really rough around the edges, you know? Uh, someone wants to take off because there's no action that's bringing any sort of excitement. Like, like, do they want disaster? I don't know. Uh, like, there's a lot of call for patience in this situation in order to free oneself from it, right? Don't start no fucking arguments and just get your coin until you're comfortable, right? You start no nothing. Mm. I feel like this queer doesn't want to be in this relationship anymore. Like, they're long past due to reveal their feelings about uh, not wanting any more love. Or they don't feel the love anymore. And maybe this person's confronting them about that, and they're just... They're not even having it, you know? The lover's card feels like a pipe dream, and it's just... Not a good cycle to be in anymore, and yeah. Oh, that's sad. I'm sorry, Queer It. I'm sorry I made fun of you. Kinda, but you know, it happens. But that's kind of sad. I feel like there's just a dwindling of communication. What's this Nine of Cups? This uh, wish fulfillment, but there's baggage. They don't feel like waiting on something that's actually fruitful because there's other shit out there in the world to look at. Hmm. You know what? That's kind of fair, you know? If you're not fulfilled and you're not happy, that's no problem with t as long as you tell somebody that. You know, if you don't tell somebody that, that's kind of fucky, though. If you've been feeling this way for a while, I think you should have said something about it sooner. Yeah, you're just ready to walk away despite the love, queer it. But you're watching snakes. Okay, dude, like, look at it, right? First off, you're kind of being illogical. In your emotions or in whatever it is. It's like you decided to break your own heart. In order to go on an adventure to danger, because you want to go after snakes? Are you a thrill seeker, kind of sir and or ma'am? I don't know. This is a really weird one. Ah! Da 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 da! You're administering the tower. That's harsh. Or do you see somebody as a snake? Is that why you're watching them? Because it's not like you're paying attention to your intuition. You know? Like, it's not like you're making the best choices, considering. Yeah, like, not, uh, no bueno, man. No bueno. Not for that pentacle. Let your guard down. Actually take time to think about things. Uh, master that shadow side beastliness when it comes to shit that's gone wrong back in the day. Um, things are gonna change at some point. I don't know how. Oh, okay. Well, there we go. Wait. What? Are you keeping yourself stuck so you get some money? Because that's what got you in this situation to begin with, you know? Like, I feel like you might have gotten with somebody for fundage. You know? Especially with that Knight of Pentacles down below. Closed door. Right there. No business available. Uh, because of a third party situation that led to a breakup. Now you're just waiting on something. New love. Or an Ace of Cups. Well, the Queen of Pentacles had the Ace of Cups behind her. She's kind of being stingy with it, I think. Security. Are you waiting for your lover to show you love? Are you waiting for somebody else to, um... Did you close the door on the third party? And then decide to wait to see if love will come in because you want to be secure with your pentacles? Queer it? My, my, my. <laughs> Damn, dude. Like, so, okay. 
Let me gather myself here. You got with somebody based on funds. But it's like you're surprised that there's really not a lot of love here. But you broke off a third party. Waiting to see if love will arrive. With this marriage or whatever. Because it's keeping you feeling secure. Is that, is that what I'm getting right here? Because that's kind of fucked up, man. Like I, like, I was even apologizing to you and shit. Like, damn. Oh, well. I mean, like, we all, we all make our choices. I guess I shouldn't really judge here. But, you know. Like, you're waiting on love. Hmm. I don't know. But, yeah. That's the reading I got for us all. Y'all. Whatever I'm trying to say. Anyway, we're done. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give a like, share, and subscribe if you want to. No pressure, though. I'm not, like, a tyrant in these here parts. I will see you guys probably tomorrow. I think I'm doing the... Yeah, I think I'm doing the mid-monthlies tomorrow, but at the same time, it's, like... It's only the 5th. I don't know if I should wait. Well, I don't know. Should I wait another week? You guys decide. I probably won't. Probably just go ahead and do them because whatever. But I will see you guys later. I love your faces. Bye-bye.